Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. Jewelry today, woo! Jewelry today, jewelry tomorrow, purses, and clearance jewelry I put with a question mark that Friday's videos through the summer and fall are gonna depend on how much work I have to do for a boring job. So I'm gonna try like heck, we'll see what happens, okay? Um, so we have a few housekeeping things. Are you ready? I owe someone this beautiful J. Crew necklace. Um, this was our giveaway. I had it in a pile. Sorry, necklace. Here we go. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> uh, I gave away this necklace from the little picture of Brinny, the little cartoon. She's in here somewhere in one of these stacks. I have three of these for the week. Um, her picture's in there. And when you see it, that item is a giveaway. Now, uh, today's jewelry, I have a bunch of gold. I cannot give gold away, but I can pick something nice for you, okay? Because I spent more on it to get it for you guys. So if it comes up on one of those, I will have to, um, what is this? Oh, I know. Sorry. I will have to change it to something else. I'm looking at the jewelry here. Okay, here we go. Here's the winner. Tina210. Tina. Or maybe it's the last name. Tinato. Mm, could be. I'm not sure who this is. Um, if I know you, sorry, I don't know you by your YouTube name. So shoot me an email. If I, if you've never bought anything, let me know your name and address. Uh, if you have, let me know it's you. Okay. Put that to the side. More housekeeping. Okay. Doggies. Doggies. Wait till you guys see, uh, where we're at. Are you ready? $32.69. That's what we've given to Whispering Willow's Senior Dog Sanctuary um, cumulatively. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Like, so amazing with jewelry that's like, you know, like, I don't know. Most of it's like $8 max, right? It's so cool. Thank you so, 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 so much. Now, in the effort of full disclosure, I need to tell you two things. One, the donation doesn't go to Whispering Willow's until everybody's paid me, just so you know. Uh, it did go out already for this one, this most recent one. Um, secondly, I made a mistake. So, um, there was a bin of dog jewelry in front of my jewelry shelves, and I didn't remember that it was dog jewelry, and I dumped it in with my own jewelry, okay? So, um, the person that donated it has been seeing the items randomly, it was a complete accident. I caught my mistake like a couple days later and tried to pull everything out, but it didn't happen. It's mixed in. So in an effort of full disclosure, I want you to know that that happened because you're all donating to these doggies. Um, $100 of this I put in to pay for that jewelry, okay? So I don't think it would be anywhere near $100. I know the shelter needs it. I'm fine with that, but I did put 100 in um, just to make sure that was square. Okay. So I just want you guys to know that in case you see anything, it's been paid for my apologies. <laughs> I won't let it happen again, or I'm going to try like heck not to let it happen again. How's that? Okay. If you'd like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Package. If you paid for your invoice already that I sent out last night, your package is going to the post office today. Cheer for me. Go, Julie. Go, Julie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I got to tell you, it feels really, 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 really good to get your packages out so quickly, you guys. Like, it makes me so happy. It almost feels like I, like, I don't know, won a race or something. I don't know. It feels great. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is all jewelry I bought this weekend. Um, I've got a pile of costume. I've got a pile of sterling. And I've got a pile of gold. Okay, so this jewelry, I'm just opening it up while I talk. This jewelry came from my aunt's friend. Um, she had surgery, and forgive me, I don't remember what kind of surgery, and maybe that's not my place to share anyway, but, um, and isn't able to work. So, she went through her jewelry and found things, um, that she was okay with giving up, and, um, you know, I paid her for them and it was a win-win all around. So, um, definitely a win for us because there's some really amazing stuff. There's one piece in here that is like, oh, I think it's so nice. I can't wait to get the gem tester on it. 
Okay, so let's do this. There are bags and things I'll be um, opening and yeah, like usual. Okay, here we go. We have this guy. Um, my aunt measured some things for me too. So if it's in the right bag, I might know measurements. This has a 17 inch drop. Uh, this is probably some kind of Jasper, I would guess. I don't know. Does quartz ever have like a solid look to it? Let's put it on the gem tester, see if it tells us anything. Again, it's a 17 inch drop. It is super pretty. It's reading on the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite line, so I'm not sure. Um, let's do this one for $15. The whites almost have like a little blue hue to them. Oh, ignore my finger. I'm getting my nails done today. I was limping that baby along, you guys, and I messed it up today. She's a gone. Okay, I have this um, silver tone ring. Isn't this really cool? It has like an antique-y look to it. I'm not saying it is antique, but it's really, really cool. I was bummed it wasn't sterling. I thought it might be, but it's not. It's silver tone. Oh, that's what I should tell you. I tested all of this jewelry when I bought it. So it's all been tested, all the golds tested, all the sterlings tested, okay? Size six. Uh, this one is going to be, I'm gonna go 10 bucks on that. It's a good one, $10. Okay, next. I have a pair of earrings, costumes, so silver tone earrings. Um, they have little bear claws, a Southwest feel, a native feel, but they are not native. Um, I didn't see that. I was also wondering what's gonna happen when I get under these bright lights. I'm probably gonna see a lot of stuff. Um, I think that will come off. Let me try. Let me see, let me see. Where are you, buddy? Come here, please. Yeah, because these are like newish looking. So I think that will come off. I think it's Judge. Uh, yes, so they'll need a little bit more work to get it off, but it is coming off. So they'll need a, wee, yee, yee. it will need a little wipe down, but I was able to scrape some of it off. Okay, so anyway, those are going to be $5. Okay, I have a, another pair of earrings. These are pretty. These are enamel. They're posts. Do you like my ring, guys? This is a Laramar ring I was talking about the other day that I got it and it was it's not cold to the touch. So I thought it was fake. But do you remember we had a Laramar ring last week and I was like, hey, this isn't cold to the touch either. So I must know, is Laramar not cold to the touch? I must know this. I have to remember to look it up. Hopefully my ring will remind me. All right, silver tone, post earrings, enamel. They are in nice condition. These are going to be $5. They are like articulated. So that's fun. I have a stretchy bracelet, silver tone and blue. It's very, very pretty. Stretch is awesome on it. Um, I think we're looking at all acrylic right here. Let's do uh, $6 on that one. Next, uh, oh, I'm in the sterling pile. I gotta keep my piles separately, separate here, separated so I don't forget. All right, sterling pile, here we go. We have a sterling silver cross. It's a crucifix, uh, meaning Jesus is on the cross. There it is, isn't it pretty? There's the back. Again, I tested it, beautiful, and it's on like a Rolo chain, okay? There's a 925 mark there. Uh, a lot of them said Italy. Yep, this one says Italy. Uh, this one has a drop of 10 and a half inches, you guys. And this one is going to be 22. 22. Okay, next, we'll do some more sterling, why not? I have somebody looking for a Figaro chain, and I didn't have any in my stock, but I'm wondering if there's one in here. I can't remember. This one is a beautiful rope chain. This is a lot of sterling, you guys. It's a heavier one. Uh, it has a lobster claw clasp. Um, I don't remember if this was marked Italy, too. Like, tons were marked Italy. 95. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Does it? No. 
Okay, here we go. This one is a 16 inch total length, heavier rope chain. That one's going to be $20. Next, this is so cute. Wait till you guys see it. Sterling silver. It is a little flower brooch and these little um, flower heads or whatever you want to call them are like dangly on there. It is so, so cute. You have like the filigree work there. So cute. It has um, the C clasp. This one's going to be 25. Next, oh, this is the Tada piece. Should I show it now? It's kind of early. It's kind of early for Tada. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Wait till you see it, because I'm dying to know. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I wasn't sure what those orange stones were. I didn't see them flashing when I was at mom's buying the jewelry. Look, they're opals. <gasps> Eek! It's even prettier. Oh my gosh. And the purple is reading on the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite line. I don't know what that means. Uh, and it's on this amazing chunky chain. It's just, let me lay it out. It's just like seriously a beautiful, beautiful piece. So beautiful. I saw this in the pile and I'm like, mine. <laughs> I need this. Guys, are orange opals like, um, are, they, are they from a specific place or whatever? Let's look it up together. Orange opal. An orange fire opal. Look at that one. Whew, so pretty. Anything we need to know? Um, are orange opals rare? Only less rare than red opals, making them fairly sought after. Okay, if we believe everything, right? Reds and oranges are the dominant colors are rarer than blues and violets for the featured colors. Okay, gorgeous. Gosh, this is beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, let's look at it again. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, this one has a drop of 10 inches. And I am going to ask. Uh, $95. Okay, 95 on that one. <clears throat> Sorry, it took me a minute. Um, we can keep going with the sterling. I have a couple plain old chains. Um, this one is a bigger box chain. Isn't it cool? I love how like, uh, how big the links are in this. You always see small box chains, right? Uh, this one is, um, what is that? Uh, almost 18 inches, 17 and three quarter inches long. Isn't that a cool chain? Uh, let's go 20 bucks on that one. That one is a, it's a heavier one too. Not as heavy as that rope, but it's heavy. Uh, should we just get the chains out of the way? Let's do it. Come on, chains. Chains, chains, chains. If they don't sell, I'll probably put a pendant on them at some point. Oh, I have a couple pendants right here. Hmm. All right, well, whatever. Buy a pendant and a chain, guys, okay? Okay. This one has an eight inch drop. It's a rope. It's a little bit of a smaller rope than that first one I showed you. This one's going to be 18. Okay, then we have this herringbone, which is so cool. Wait till you guys see it. Isn't this cool? It's like a diamond cutting on top of the herringbone. Do you see it? Like a little, like almost wheat pattern on top of the herringbone. It is really, really pretty. I think if this one was shiny, uh, it would look crazy amazing. Uh, this one is 19 and three quarter. Okay, um, it's, it's beautiful. I'm trying to show it to you. Let's do, oh, my huggy, look at that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I'm sorry I said that. I didn't mean to. Um, or I guess I meant to, but I try really hard not to say stuff like that. <laughs> my mama doesn't like that. Okay, I'm sorry. This is annoying me. Fast forward. 
fast forward. I'm almost done. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, sorry. That I know that I didn't need to fix that right now, but it was annoying me. Okay, let's do this one for twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven dollars on this one. Can I get you in this bin? I don't think I should try. Got to be careful with herringbone. When they come to you from me, they get put on these really cool cards that Mama designed that keep them nice and flat and shipping. It's really cool. Okay, I have another rope chain. Sterling silver, like I said. Uh, here it is. This one has a drop of nine inches. So that one is going to be um, 18. I don't know how much I made that other rope. I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. <laughs> this one, look at it. Isn't it cool? I know this isn't a paperclip chain, but it reminds me of paperclips, right? It should be called that. It's a really, really cool link. Isn't that cool? This one is an eight and three quarter inch drop. And this one, sterling silver again, guys. This one is going to be um, 18. And how many more chains? Okay, we have four more chains, okay? We have this one. It's a cool, really, really cool link. I don't know what this link is called. It is so cool though. Isn't it neat? It's so pretty. This one has a drop of nine inches. Uh, and this one's gonna be 20. Okay, three more chains. Like I said, if they don't sell, I'll throw some pendant, some sterling pendants on them. Okay, sterling silver rope chain. This one has a nine inch drop. That one's gonna be 18. If you want a rope chain, check all the numbers because you never know <laughs> what will be left. This one is, um, oh, this is a bracelet, you guys. This one is a bracelet. It's very similar to that um, really neat chain we looked at. This one has some hammered on it. Did this one? And we missed it? I'm just going to double check. No, they're a little bit different. Very, very similar. But this one has hammered, hammered links. It's super pretty. This one is a seven and three quarter. I'm going to double check that just in case. I would say seven and a half, you guys. Seven and a half. Let's go 18. Okay, uh, let's look at some costume. I have a Napier piece, a Napier bracelet. It is gold tone and um, faux pearl, and it is in a like new condition. It's beautiful. There's the Napier. This one is seven and a half inches also, and that one is going to be $8. Okay. Uh, more costume. I have a wreath pin brooch. There are a lot of brooches in here, FYI. Uh, this one is silver tone. Uh, I think it could just use a wipe down. Other than that, it looks like it's pretty nice. Let's do $5 on that one. And I have a little butterfly, a butterfly flying by. There it is, and it's brass. He's a little wonky, you know, he's heading, he's heading this way. He's like, let's go this way. And the wings are going, no, I'm going this way. <laughs> um, little brass glittery butterfly. Let's make him uh, $4. Uh, what else do we have? We'll do gold in a second. Gold, I'm gonna have to look up with you guys. So I was kind of, you know, leaving it till the end possibly. This is silver tone, a little eagle pendant. Okay, it's in nice shape. It gives me pewter feels. Maybe it is pewter, you guys. I think it's pewter. My bad. Um, let's do this for five bucks. I have a little tiny charm. It's so cute. Wait till you see it. Look at that. Isn't it cute? It's gold tone, I would say. I'm wondering, I really think it might be gold filled though. It's so cute. Um, I think it is bent that way purposefully. I don't think there's something wrong with it. Let's do that one for $5. So, so cute. It's not a charm, it's a pendant more than a charm. The um, veil's like on the back of it instead of the top. Oops, wrong thing. 
All right, I have another pendant. Leah Sophia, Leah Sophia. You know what? I saved this Alfani chain. Ooh, they kind of look nice together, don't they? This is an Alfani uh, chain. <laughs> we'll put a Leah Sophia pendant on it. If I add a chain to something and it's marked and the pendant's not, I usually rip the marking off because it's not theirs anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like I made it, not them. Um, I don't want anybody to be tricked. All right, so Leah Sophia has a necklace now. Look at that, it's a long one. A really long snake chain. And there you go, Leah Sophia, silver tone. Let's do um seven. Seven dollars on that one. I grabbed that before it went to mystery jewelry. It came in handy. This one is, is this the one I'm thinking? Yes, this one is so pretty, you guys. Look at this. It's silver tone. Oh, I never noticed that. Bummer. Is it vertigree? It kind of looks like something got on it, not vertigree. Maybe it is vertigree. Yeah, it's probably vertigree. Bummer, bummer, bummer. It's still beautiful, you guys, and you could clean that off with a little ketchup or some other um, vinegar product. Ketchup's nice because it stays in one place on there for you. Little by little, leave it on a little bit, take it off. On a little bit, take it off. Um, and don't get it on the stones. Just want to make sure everything works. I didn't do that on Saturday. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful little piece. Um, coming in at a size 7. Let's see if these are um, something we want to know about. I am so surprised this isn't uh, sterling, you guys, but it wasn't. Jadeite Spinel on the blue. The green is Cryophase Emerald Nephrite. Purple is, hold on you guys, I'm, I'm going to see if this is reading low. It is. Okay, so I think the green is Peridot and the purple is Amethyst. My um, gem tester is reading a little bit lower. Is that falling off? Yeah, it has to be tightened. You can fix those by just tightening those a little bit with some pliers, you guys. Uh, red, garnet, and this yellowy one, citrine, and that's it. Okay, so you need to clean the verdigree and you need to tighten the um, safety catch. I am still going to ask... Um, I'll just go $8, okay? $8. This is fun. Wait till you guys see this. It's a glass necklace. Don't worry, I don't have 500 of them. <laughs> a glass necklace. It is graduated amazing beads, you guys. Look at them. They're such a cool bead. Almost a soccer ball, but with flat ends. It's really, really cool. Um, here's the clasp. Okay. You know what? I didn't try any of the clasps on Saturday, and now it's making me nervous that I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can do this one. If you get a clasp that doesn't work, just let me know, and, um, you know, we'll work something out. I'll give you your money back or something. How's that? 17-inch uh, total length on this one. This one's going to be $18. Next... We have a silver tone brooch. I really like this brooch, you guys. It gave me um, antique vibes. I don't think it is, but it gave me those vibes. A uh, little mark right there. I'm not sure what that is. I bet that would wipe off. Uh, here's the back. Silver tone. Let's go um, $5 on that one. Okay, I can move my bin. Move my bin. Move my bin. Okay, next, 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 next. So I have to finish filming and run straight to my nails, guys. That's where I'm headed. Um, this is a single earring. Um, I grabbed it anyway for you guys in case somebody wants it. It's gold tone. It's a post. Let's just do two bucks on that. It's so cute, little unicorn. I figure if somebody likes unicorns, maybe have a second hole or a third hole cartilage, whatever. 
Um, these are clip earrings. They are clipped together. Uh, let me undo because you'll be able to see them better. There we go. They are dingle danglies, faux pearl, rhinestone. There's a little judge right there I never saw. That will clean off, good. Uh, here's the back. Slight wear on the back, but nothing crazy. Let's go $5 on those. Okay, next, next, what else we got? Oh, this is fun, you guys. I don't know if anybody wants to take this on. It needs a bail. If it doesn't sell, maybe I'll put one on there. It's glass. There is some light scratching on it, but it is like a fan. Look at the rainbows. Oh, that will happen when you're wearing it, you guys. That's awesome. Like you're walking down the hall, you're like, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> All right, um, let's go $5 on that. It is glass. Did I say that? I think I did. Okay, these earrings, are they stone? I don't remember what I thought. Yeah, I think they're stone. They're kind of giving me moss agate feels. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? They're a little posts. What'd you call these studs? I guess they're kind of studs, huh? Okay, I'm taking my guess back. It's actually nephrite. Aren't they gorgeous? So pretty, I love all the different coloring in them. Uh, let's do eight bucks on those. Those are really nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, please be quiet. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, these are really, really pretty, you guys. I was hoping these were sterling too, but they are silver tone, little stud earrings, blue teardrop shape. Um, the backing says 925, but these did not test as 925. Really, no, these aren't the screw-ons. There's a pair of screw-ons in here. Um, let me test the stone because I'm so curious. Eek! My fingers aren't working well, you guys. Sorry. There we go. Oop, 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 oop. I can't believe these aren't sterling. Did I mess up? Guess what it is, you guys. Blue topaz, they're beautiful. I can't believe they're not sterling and the, it's Mark Sterling everything. I tested them, I did, I did, I did. Well, here they go. If they're sterling, happy birthday. <laughs> my, my loss is your gain. Let's do $10 on those, okay, $10. Those are pretty. Gorgeous topaz, those are a dark blue topaz. Not super dark, but they're darker. These are cute. Wait till you guys see these. Um, we have some vintage earrings. They are screw backs. Aren't these cute? And they dangle. Isn't it cute? Um, I would say overall, there's probably like a tiny bit of wear. Do you see like right here? It's a little different right there. But I don't think it affects the earring too, too much. So I grabbed them anyway. They're not signed. $5. Those are light blue, in case you couldn't see. Oh, that's for me. I keep I keep collecting these, you guys. <laughs> these earrings crack me up because I don't know why I keep collecting them either because I probably haven't found the exact one I want. But I am telling you, I'm gonna do some embroidery of people from behind and one of them is gonna have one of these as a mullet and I am all, <laughs> I am all about it and I cannot wait. <laughs> gosh it's gonna be fantastic you guys okay next um this one okay so this one I think there might be some like all over tarnishing on this one it's not horrible um it's just not bright silver tone anymore so I want to let you know but it is the coolest necklace and I grabbed it anyway because I think it still has life. So it is um, a festooning two strand necklace and this amazing chain. Um, and it is on the long side and it has an extender. So without the extender, you are looking at like a 13 inch drop and then look at this extender. Well, this one's clipped on the chain it looks like, but look at the extender. It looks like um, she might have added a jump ring to make the chain shorter for her. She's very petite very petite um 
there was a ring that I loved. It was gold and it had a diamond, but it was a size four. She's very, very petite. Okay, I'd like to lay this out for you one more time so you can see how cool it is again, but I'm having an issue here. Come on. You worked the first time. Could you do it again, please? Please, please. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> there we go. Kind of like this. Do you get the idea? <laughs> A little rhinestone. Okay, so this one is going to be $8, okay? Cool piece. Um, This one, oh guys, wait till you see this. I think this needs a little wipe down. It's vintage, it's a necklace, and it is so cool. Uh, Yeah, see, it's just a little dirty and stuff, right? Or maybe some wear, maybe it's wear. Um, but it's really, really cool, you guys. It reminds me of like the Vandell pins and stuff. Um, oh, I never saw this. There's a little bit of verdigree right there. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Um, I don't see a marking on this one. Um, so she needs a little bit of work. That's a bummer. Let's just, oh, length. Total length of, oh wow, it's a 14 incher. <coughs> Typical vintage size. Let's just do $4. You have to clean her up. I have to remember what has verdigris so I don't put it with the rest, huh? I don't want it to end up with everything else. That would be bad. It can spread, you guys, so don't do that. Keep it separate till you fix it. Silver tone. Oh, missing rhinestone. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, silver tone bracelet with blue rhinestones, size seven. It looks like one's missing. Jolie. Jolie, 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 Jolie. Yep, one's missing. Fold over clasp, not marked. Silver tone, let's just do four bucks. You have to replace a rhinestone, sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop on the costume for a second. Uh, what time is it? Okay, we'll hop over to more sterling and then we'll look at the um, gold, okay? Oh, this is silver tone, but I'm gonna show you. No, I won't. I don't wanna confuse you. Forget it, I'm not showing you. All right. Sterling silver, okay? This is probably my favorite piece of everything. I forgot about this piece. This and the cross I already showed you. Look at this. It is Mexico. It is sterling silver. It is fantastic. And it's a toggle clasp. It is heavy, you guys. A lot of sterling. Like I said, it's marked Mexico. I don't, I can't read that, but it doesn't look like Texco. Maybe that's an A. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Okay. This one has a length of seven and three quarter inches. I would say it's just so darn pretty. I love that one. Um, let's see if any of these read. I'm guessing that's probably some Malachite. It looks like it. Maybe some Lapis. Oh, that might be Tiger's Eye. I'm seeing something. Um, let's just put on this green one and see what happens. Glass. The green one's reading is glass. So I'm not sure what they are, but they're fantastic. <laughs> I can tell you that. All right. This one is going to be... $65. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> My brain's not as fast as it used to be. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Jelly bean. That is silver tone, silver tone, silver tone. Got in the wrong place. How did I do that? Okay, we're good. I fixed it. All right, sterling silver. This chain's really cool. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Ooh, are you getting sleepy? <laughs> Um, lost lobster claw clasp. This is sterling silver. Did I say silver tone? No, it's sterling silver. Cheapers, Julie. Eight and a half inch drop, sterling silver chain. Let's do 20 on that one. Uh, what else do we have for sterling? Come over here, please, sterling. Oh, these earrings. Wait till you see these, you guys. This is sterling silver. Aren't these the cutest? Wait till you see. Maybe. There we go. Isn't that so cute? It's a moon and a star and it's on a little hoop. Isn't it awesome? Make sure these are all good. Yep. This one's in. Okay, good. Aren't they beautiful? 
Look at them. Let's go 18 on those. Those are sterling. I have a little ring. It's going to be petite. It's going to be petite, but it is very pretty. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's missing some marcasites. Those were probably all marcasites, but this is a good example, you guys. When you're missing marcasites, you could pop them out and then polish this and nobody would know. Uh, one of you told me that and you're brilliant because it's true. Okay, that is an onyx, you guys. This is a teeny tiny. Uh, coming in at a five and three quarter, okay? And I will just do that one for $8, okay? $8. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, this guy. This is sterling, you guys. Um, barrel clasp. And this part is sterling, too. It's a liquid silver. And then the horsey is sterling. These are probably malachite or something like that. It's so cute. It has a length of nine and a half inches. So it's either an anklet or a longer bracelet, a bigger bracelet. Let's go 15. Next, let's see. Oh, geez, I have another big Rolo chain. Wait till you see. It's another big one. This one is heavy also. Look at that. I really like these Rolo chains. So if the one up uh, in the beginning is missing, check for this number. Uh, this one is a uh, 20, 24 inch chain. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 25. Next, we're almost done sterling, you guys, and then um, I'll pull out the gold, and then I'll end, okay? Here we go. We've got another one of this style chain. No, it's not. It's different. Sorry. This is a curb chain, an elongated curb chain. Uh, is everything okay right here? Sir, have you been drinking? <laughs> How many drinks have you had tonight, sir? You're all twisted up. I'll do that another time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, we have a pearl necklace. These are real pearls and the clasp is sterling and this is beautiful. Genuine freshwater pearl made in China. I love how this feels on your skin. Real pearls. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Even faux sometimes actually too. This one has a drop of um, eight and three quarter inches. It's just stunning. Let's go, um, let's go 35, okay? 35 on that one. Uh, we have, let's see what this is. We have a little pin. Isn't it cute? It's a little four-leaf clover. This is sterling silver. Isn't it beautiful? It's marked right there. It's so cute. I love the enameling. Uh, let's do 25 on that one. Next, next, next. How much more do we have? One, two, okay, we're okay, we're okay. And I'll show those, those aren't sterling though. Uh, let's see, we have this chain. Ooh, 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 guys, this is a Figaro. This is what you're looking for. It's an 18 inch. No, no, it's not. It's 17 and three quarter. All right, let me know if you want that one. I'm sorry, guys. I have that. I'll show it again if she doesn't want that one. I had, I cannot usually fill special requests, you guys. It doesn't usually happen. Oh, shoot. It's got a broken clasp anyway. Okay. All right. Anyway, put it up here. I cannot usually fill requests. It's hard because everything's mixed together in here. But if I come across it and you've asked me for something, I definitely will try to make it happen. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, these are not sterling. Those are in the wrong spot. I pulled from the wrong pile. Sorry. Uh, here we go. This has a sterling silver clasp. It's a bracelet and these are glass. It's almost like a beach glass. It's a really, really cool bracelet. Um, this one has a length of seven and a half inches and I'm going to ask 10 for that one. Okay. I have horseshoe earrings. This woman was also a horsewoman. I don't know how you'd say that. Horseman? I don't know. Horseshoe earrings on hooks. Let's go 15 on those. Okay. Next. Next. Okay, we have one more sterling. Oh, it's a sterling bag. There's three pieces in it. Okay. 
three pieces of sterling left, then we'll look at the gold. Dun -dun. Here we go. Oh, four in here. We have this little guy. It's a little tiny pendant. It is so cute. That is Onyx, you guys. Onyx. Let's go $10 on that one. Oops. Fell in the wrong tray. Okay. Then we have this a guy. Okay. Uh, sterling silver. Really cool, like, open work on this pendant. Super pretty. Uh, this one was marked, if I remember correctly. Yep, right there. I think this is marked turkey, and so is this one, if I remember correctly. Yep, turkey on this one. Let's go um, 15 on that, and then we'll look at this one, and I think this one's also marked turkey. Yep, turkey. And this one is same on both sides, just making sure. It looks like there's a hole through it. I'm not sure if maybe... I wonder if something else was on here. I don't really know. Sterling silver, 10 bucks. Uh, and then I have these little sterling studs. They are horseshoes. We'll test that little thing. I think they're probably CZs, but let's test it. Sterling silver little horseshoe studs. Aren't they cute? Oh. Yes, with little CZs, clear CZs. They're so cute. Let's go 10 bucks on those. Okay, push the costume to the side. We'll look at that some more later. Let me grab the gold. Sometimes I don't sell gold so hot. Every once in a while it does okay, but I figure we'll look at it and if it doesn't sell, I'll throw it on eBay and see what I get. What do you guys think? Good plan. I'm killing. I'm trying to stall because I can't get to it because I have a mountain of bags here. Okay, come on, please. People are waiting. Don't you know? Don't you know people have things to do? We need to not waste their time. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay, so here's my little gold pile. Uh, there's one pair of earrings in here that are stunning. They're, everything's beautiful, but those earrings just stood out to me. Um, it's all been tested. Uh, it's all marked 10K or 14K. It's mostly 14K. There's like two 10K pieces. All right, let's do it. So first of all, we have this chain. It's a small herringbone. This one is 14K. Isn't it beautiful? This one has a total length of, what is that? Uh, 19 and a half inches. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just so dainty and pretty. And it's in good shape. It's not kinked or anything. What I would like to do with you guys is to look up the scrap price, okay? And see where we're at. So on, this one was 14K. So, okay, we're on grams. I always use grams. The, my friend that I sell gold to, scrap and stuff, she uses penny weight. Um, which you can switch to on here, but oh my gosh. I'm so used to having a fingernail that no nail is harder now. That's crazy. Okay, could you get on the scale, please? All right, so this is 2.08 grams of 14K. Let's see. I'm going to show you my thing in a second. We're going to go scrap gold calculator. Sorry if you can hear um, work happening outside. It's Mama and Dad's, um, uh, yeah, uh, in-law apartment that's happening out there. So, um, okay, so we have 2.08 grams. It's 14K, and it's not penny weight. It's in grams. Calculate. Okay, estimated value, $92.95. Okay, so I don't do well pricing gold. <laughs> I have a hard time. Kristen D told me once to double, at least double the scrap rate. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit more to the scrap rate, scrap rate on each of these and give you guys a discount. Okay. Cause I know what I paid for it and I can make a little and you guys can get a good deal. Okay. So this one is going to be $140. Okay. And I have to very carefully put this in 
if you can bear with me for one second and I want to get the 14k bag in there that's going to be a pain in the butt put that there okay close this bin we're in another bin guys so you gotta give me two seconds I just found a rhinestone uh oh someone might no it's not okay good I was hoping I didn't oh that's my old dog Izzy isn't she beautiful I love that picture it's my favorite picture of her okay it's tear okay so this next one we have okay is absolutely beautiful we're gonna check what this is I think it's a ruby oh boy is it tangled again mama got this all untangled for me and I think I tangled it again nope oh oop. there is a little knot in it right there from being in the bag but it is so so beautiful you guys isn't it gorgeous I think it's probably a ruby and maybe a diamond let's look this one is 10k you guys and we will put it on the scale in one second but let's check the stone yes a ruby the red part is a ruby uh, and the top part is a diamond okay so Ruby and diamond, what is going on? Go to zero. Okay, ruby and diamond necklace. And we're at one, two, seven grams. So that's like half, we'll do it fast. Oh no, it's 10 carat, one, two, seven grams, 10 carat, calculate. Okay, okay, so this is only worth $40. Well, I have to add a little bit. But this one has a drop of like nine and a half inches, but you have a knot, you guys. So it will be a little longer. It is a very tiny box chain. It is super, super, super beautiful. Let's do this one for uh, 70. Okay, 70 on that one. That one's 10K. Okay, next we have some gold earrings. Oh, they match the necklace, guys. I didn't even realize. They match the necklace, so these are, no, these tested as 14. No, they aren't the same, huh? They just look very similar, that's funny. They look very similar, but they're not the same. <laughs> um, she has a look she likes. <laughs> All right, let's check what the pink is. Pink topaz, and then let's check the little white stones. Diamonds. Okay, so let's look up closely. So you have three little diamond chips and a pink topaz. These are 14 karat. They're absolutely beautiful. A little post. The backings are not 14K on these. Okay, she probably lost them. <clears throat> My throat has been <coughs> not awesome the last couple days. I think maybe a lot of stuff's getting stirred up outside. <clears throat> and I keep going out there and getting into it. Okay, so these come in at scrap rate 70, let's say 73 bucks, okay? So I am going to ask, I'm gonna ask 95 on those, okay, 95. Oh, hold on, I gotta put the sticker with it so I don't have to test these again, that is the goal. Okay. Next, I have a gold rope chain. Okay, I have a gold, let me put this over here, just in case Hub says something bad on the text, you know? <laughs> All right, this is um, 14 karat. It is a beautiful rope chain. This one is weighing 8.65 grams. 8.65, and it was 14, yes, 14K. Okay, so this one comes in at $386, okay? So that's the scrap rate, so I need to make it a little bit higher. Um, let's get a length on it. It is total length of 18 inches. So it's an 18-inch, beautiful 14-karat gold rope chain. I like that it's kind of like a wider rope, not so tight, a looser rope, I guess you could call it. It's awesome. Uh, let's do this one for 450, okay? 450. And if that one sells, I'm gonna make sure I give the lady a little bit more money because I probably paid too little on that. 
And nobody wants to take advantage of anybody, right? I don't. Okay, so this guy, Mama also untangled. She is delicate and dainty, and she's probably tangled again. I should have left the clasp out of the bag. I wasn't thinking. It's so beautiful and delicate. Can you guys even see it? It's just gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. Yeah, she's tangled. She was straight, so I know she goes straight. Okay, there it is. It's beautiful. This one has a drop of a uh, 10 inch drop on this one, you guys. And this one is what? 10K. Okay, 0.63, 10K. It's probably gonna be like 40 bucks, I think. 0.63, right? Yep, yeah. and it's 10K. Oh, only 20 bucks. Okay. All right. So I am going to ask 30 for this. And you probably are going to have to get some tangles out it when you get it. Okay. $30. Nice. I'm glad some of it's affordable. Put the tag with it. Okay. I have this one. This is 14K, you guys. And it is a smaller Figaro. Isn't it beautiful? So cool. Uh, this one has a drop of eight inches. Yep, eight inches. And this one is coming in at 1.63 grams. And this one is 14K. Oh no, I forgot to stick or something. Oh, I remember. Excuse me for one second. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to make my life easier, but you know, I like to mess it up. Okay. What it weigh? 1.64. And it's 14K. Calculate. Okay, so $74, you guys. So this beautiful Figaro, I'm going to do for 95. Okay, 95 on that one. I gave you a measurement on that one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, how much more gold do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five pieces, okay? Five more pieces. This one is incredible. Um, this one is 14K also. It is this amazing bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that so cool with the braid? And it's got all different kinds of um, chain. I love it. It's marked Italy. Uh, it is marked 14K also, and I did test it, like I said. Let's get that to zero. 5.25 grams on 14K. This one's going to be worth a lot. On 14K, calculate. All right, $235. So this one is going to be... Oh, let me get a length for you. Sorry, my bad. Seven inches, you guys. It's a beautiful seven inch bracelet. This one is going to be, I'll go 280, okay? 280 on that one. Okay, four more pieces, four more pieces, four more pieces. These are, oh, I'm gonna leave them till the end. I'm leaving the ta-da's till the end. Okay, the amazing earrings that like blew my mind. I just thought they were so pretty. Okay, so I have these. Okay, I don't know if these are diamonds or not. They do have a, um, what's this called, guys? A screw-on clasp. There we go. So they probably are diamonds. I don't know how to tell, like, what size a diamond is or anything. Hold on one second. They're beautiful. Oh, it almost made it. I think it is diamond. I think my thing is having a hard time because I told you it was reading low. Let's try again. No, they might be white sapphires. Hold on, I'm going to go again. I just want to make sure I'm getting the correct thing so I tell you guys the correct thing. All right, I'm going white sapphire, guys. I don't think they're diamonds, but they're absolutely beautiful. They are 14 karat. They have their screw-on backs. This is driving me crazy. I really thought these might be diamonds. Yeah, I hit the metal. I hit the metal. I hit the metal. Yep, 
No, they are white sapphire. Okay, so here they are. They're white sapphires. They're beautiful. Um, hold on, I got a tear. Oopsie. Okay. 0.79 and they are 14K. Is this annoying? I hope it's not annoying to you guys. I think it's kind of fun personally, but okay. These are 3530 and they have the little white sapphires in there. They're super beautiful. They need a little clean, but they will sparkle. Oh my, oh my. I'm going to go 65. Okay. A bracelet, a necklace, and then the tadas. A bracelet, a tisket, a tasket. <laughs> Look at this bracelet. Isn't it beautiful? This one is 14K, you guys. It is marked and it's marked Italy also. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's so pretty. What size are you, friend? Seven and a quarter, almost a seven and a half. Well, maybe it's a seven and a half. That's where it's reading. Um, Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, so this one is 3.37 grams. And I didn't have my scale with me this weekend, so I was totally just trying to wing it. Um, so I'll go back and look and see where I should do a little bit more money for her. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you that. You don't need to know. Okay, so 150. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 200 on that one. Okay, 200. That one was 14K, I'm sure I said it 12 times, but. And then we have a necklace, it's another. <laughs> that's somebody for boring jobs, sorry guys. <laughs> they have a window that's broken in their garage door. Okay, so this one, I wonder if this is also white sapphire to go with those earrings. I bet it is. Super dainty, beautiful chain. Has this interesting clasp. It does work. I did it up um, at mom's. Let's see if that's a white sapphire. There are a couple little kinks, but um, they'll work out. No, guys, that's a diamond. That's a diamond, my friends. Diamond. Diamond. I, ugh, now it didn't go up all the way. I really want to see it go one more time. Let's see. Diamond. I really think those earrings are diamonds, but whatever. I'm over it. Okay, diamond necklace, you guys. This one has an eight and a half inch drop. Um, I don't know what carrot that would be. I have no clue. Um... <laughs> I know what carrot that is. All right, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll look, we'll look. We'll see what we can come up with. Tear. 1.06 grams, this one is 14K. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go look up we're going to go look up um, eighth carat 14K diamond necklace. Holy heck. This is going to be really hard. Let's just look here for one second. Okay, guys. Okay, interesting. That's white gold, 14 karat white gold, eighth of a carat, total weight, 600 bucks. Okay, I don't, I don't know how to do this. That's okay. It's okay. I know what I paid for it, and I don't mind giving you guys a deal on it. All right, so it's a nine-inch drop on this one. So on the 14K and diamond necklace, I'm going to ask... 275. Okay, 275. Okay. And lastly, the Tadat earrings. Are you ready? They're 14K and they are really, really pretty. Are you ready? Wait till you see. And these are going to be good for us to look at too. They are opals. 
and they are real opals. So let's study these real opals, okay? This is what a real opal looks like. We're always questioning, right? Or I am. That is what a real opal looks like. When you see them up close, it's like, oh, okay, that's man-made or that's faux. Isn't it gorgeous? Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they're so nice. And are those little diamonds? Let's see. Oops, hold on please. I think I need to get my gem, gem, bleh, gem tester serviced. I have a warranty on it. I don't know if they do that or not. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry you guys. Give me one more second. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry to all my doggy friends out there. <laughs> Seriously? Like, I don't know how I'm hitting. Okay, don't do it through the camera. That's even worse. <sighs> Deep breath. Deep breath. <sighs> I'm going to get it this time. Okay, I think they're a white sapphire. Okay, we're gonna just say that. And ew, they need to be cleaned. Um, I'm not sure if the backings are 14K. I did not test that, I apologize. Okay, so these are 14K gorgeous opal earrings. Let's see. They are coming in at 1.65. Okay. Okay, so $74 on those. So these are going to be, those are gonna be 95 also, okay? 95, gorgeous, you guys. Don't let the, don't sleep on those. They are so nice. They're probably diamonds in there too. I'm having issues with my, with my gem tester, obviously. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all so, so much. You have no idea. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be back with some more jewelry, probably some costume tomorrow. Uh, maybe a, you never know box. We never know what's going to come out of it. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye.